Okay, quick as we can into the center of the lawn. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god. This is, I mean, I'm 68. These are young people. So this is the Schloss that uh, we are all staying in and it overlooks um, the village. It's very, very grand when you drive up. And so this is where we're going to be. Can I just tell you what I'm wearing? I am wearing my ski jacket is from Lidl, I kid you not. And it came with a pair of ski mittens, uh, which I've left inside because I've just literally come out to film. So I'm wearing my ski jacket from Lidl and it is so cozy, so warm and so cheap. Um, I'm wearing my borrowed boots, my sorrel boots, my mother's knitted my mother knitted these uh and leggings my low yoga leggings obviously when we go hiking and when we go uh cross-country skiing i will be wearing um, my hat and my ski trousers but yes look at the sky it is beautiful but there is snow forecast can you see the snow on the mountains up there. So this is what I call the boot room. It's where all of us get ready and put on our ski and our outdoor clothes. And it's right at the bottom of the Schloss as you enter everybody's boots and outdoor gear. Lou? Yeah, hang on a sec, David. Hang on, David, hang on. Yeah? Oh, I'm on the phone. Oh, hang on, David, I'll call you back, because Joe's pointing a camera in my face. Hang on, I'll call you back. This is Lou. She's on the phone to her husband. <laughs> I was. This, I love this room. This is one of my favourite rooms. Oh, what I love, Lou, is the size of the furniture in this Schloss. Have you seen the sideboard yeah, and everything? Because I'm tall, right? Yeah. How tall it is. Look, look at us. But it is unbelievable. So this is a lovely room. And this is, look at the bureaus. I love the way the lamps, the lampshades are beautiful. And you just caught me making the bed. And look at the size of this bed. <laughs> How, what a waste what just a waste, to you. Totally wasted. But, um, and I was making it before you came in. And Lee, Lou, by the way, is a skier. I'm not a skier. So she goes off skiing, but I don't. Um, yeah, so this is a lovely, lovely room. And see, I love all the furniture. This is all ancestral furniture that's been yeah, in the schloss. Yeah, you can hear it, look. Yeah. Have to lift up. Yeah. We're not used to this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. Okay, I'll leave you to get on so you can talk to your husband. Thank you. Does anyone know who her husband is? Leave comments below. Right, here we are, Tyrolean hats. Thank God I have my makeup on. Yes. She's, you can't catch her without her makeup. She comes to breakfast, literally with, um, well, not full slap. Right, this is, I've taken you in here before. And then we come down to my room, which is an absolute mess. And I will show you that later. The first morning and it snowed. When we arrived, there was no snow. And now look, beautiful, beautiful. Did 
just been to my morning yoga, sorry I look a bit of a mess. Oh, the room is an absolute mess. I'm going to give you a room tour, actually a schloss tour, later on. But look at this and the silence. So before I take you for a tour of the whole schloss, um, I thought I would just go through my morning skin routine. I am sharing this bathroom with just one other girl, which is absolutely fantastic. It might be a bit echoey, because we are within this great big schloss with massive thick walls, but um, the light is good. So, the reason I'm taking you through my skincare is because, do you remember, um, a few vlogs ago now, it probably was, oh, I don't know, three vlogs ago, I went to Harvey Nicks, for the launch of a new skincare range that I wasn't allowed to tell you about. But the reason I went was they were offering, if you worked with them, a 28 day trial, a 28 day trial, a before and after. I love this because it means there's no cheating. You get to see if these products actually work on our skin. Um, and do you remember I was using, or I was put under, a Vizier machine which looks at the state of your skin, the epidermis, and actually re reveals what your skin's actual age is as compared to what your actual age is. And my skin was the skin of a 65 year old, whereas I am a 68 year old. So at least I've done some good in my la later years. But the brand, this is the first very first skincare range from Switzerland that supports and activates the lymphatic system. Now, I'm saying this cautiously because I know you're going to say, hang on, lymphatics, you can only activate the lymphatic through massage. Well, that's as it was. Now, you can support the lymphatic between massage if you get my meaning let me tell you the brand the brand is ira now ira has three products a serum a cream and then a product that i'm holding back till the very end to talk to you about but what it does is it boosts it actually plumps and the word i love that they use it sculpts so okay I'm 68, it's all dropping, but I would like to maintain the lift that I have so far. I would like to increase the brightness and I would love to do something about this and this. So let me take you through it. The three products, starting off with the serum. So you just need very little and yes, you do massage it on to your skin and that's what we've all done haven't we because you can feel the lymphatics drain the toxins go the products then work better you feel brighter the skin is lifting and these fantastic ingredients will work on your skin and activate the lymphatic when you have finished applying them isn't that a nice thought in fact I Ray call it lymph active. The products are lymph active. So that is the serum. Follow that by the cream. And the cream has a wonderful hyaluronic acid that locks in all the goodness of the serum and adds more hydration for more plumping and contouring. So that is the cream. Now, this is the item that I am so loving. I have never used an eye cream. You've never ever seen me use an eye cream. I always just use my usual products and stick it under the eyes. Um, I've never ever put anything on my eyelids. But this area is where I'm really concerned because it's drooping. And I would just like a bit of a lift. I don't want to go under the knife. I don't want an eye lift. I didn't think there was anything that could help that until I tried this. So, I started using this thinking, well, I'll use it because I was told to use all three items. Oh my goodness, you need very little. 
very, very little. You pat it from the inner eye up to the outer edges. So it works on bags, but obviously this is where the lymphatic, all of us know, concentrates. So this helps to activate the lymphatic, but this is the bit I love. You then, with the extra product, run it over your eyelids, right up under the brow. Pat and pull up, pat and pull up. Here's a close up of my skin, having used eye ray for 28 days. I can already see a lifting of the drooping of the eyes. My cheekbones are sitting nice and high, but I'd like to see an improvement around these tram lines. I'm going to try the products for another 28 days and report back having used eye ray for eight weeks. There we go. And also, can I just say, these are refillable. So it's a lovely solid case. The refills, you just take off the top, slot in, truly sustainable. So eye ray, yes, that's coming with me everywhere. Right, oh, now for a tour of the Schloss. So this is where, the magic happens. Actually, our yoga teacher is here. Here's Moon. Hello. <laughs> and here's Audrey. And this is, this, you may remember, all of you who watched the previous vlog, this game kept us awake at night. Yes. Audrey, is this the first time you've played it? Yeah. She's is natural. It, is it a family game, Moon? <laughs> yeah, it's, Dad made this. Wow. Yeah. I didn't pretty, know that. Yeah, so it's pretty incredible. So yes, we've been playing it since we were kids. So there you go. It's really simple. I don't even know what it's called. Chinese checkers. Oh, it is Chinese checkers. Mm -hmm. So yes. And Moon, whose family own this schloss, her ancestors are everywhere. <laughs> that must be so comforting, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty special. It is seeing all the um, family tree yeah. on the walls. If you go in the loo, everybody, you actually see these girls um, grandparents, and there is a strong likeness. I'll let you get on, Audrey. <laughs> right, so this is where we all eat. This wonderful table, I love this lamp. Look at the lamp, the lampshade is stunning. More ancestors on the wall, and yes, magically it snowed overnight. But I'm now gonna take you, and forgive me, I'm not wearing any makeup on this holiday, so I look a bit like a maggot, but never mind. We're going through here. Look at this. It's the size of all the furniture. Just look. Look at this. Piano. Desk. And you see through there, in the summer, you may remember that's where we all had breakfast on that turret, which is fantastic. And look at the size of the fireplace. So this is the lake. Do you remember when I was here before in the summer? Robin and I swam. Here's Lou. We're all filming each yes, other. Joe. Hello. Hi, Joe. <coughs> this will be on the vlog, everybody. Subscribe. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> the wonderful Lou. And this this place is like The Shining. If anyone's seen The Shining, an abandoned hotel by the side of the lake. And this is amazing. This is. Gosh, we climbed a long way. But if you remember the sound of music. That is the mountain behind me. If you see the mountain behind me, that is the mountain, the Von Trapp family. Well, we don't know the Von Trapp family, but many people climbed, uh, obviously during the Second World War, to escape. Amazing, this is amazing. And I've been here in the summer, I've been here in the autumn, but never in the winter. And my lungs feel fantastic. So now, um, one of the girls is performing a headstand. 
you notice that neither Louise or myself on a, on a frozen lake, but we have got the yoga teacher right here in front of us. Look at this. This is how you do it, everybody. This is how you do it. Oh my God. Can you believe it? Oh, what? This is brilliant. Wow. Don't try this at home, everybody, if you're watching, please. Oh! I'm going to pretend this is me. People may recognize these pajamas. I've worn them for many years, and this is one of the models from the company. Actually, she's the model for Dempster, and we both have the same ones. Avocado, and a bit of beans avocado. and a bit of egg on top. And another piece of toast with red pesto, avocado, and a bit of more egg on top. Mm. So you have two sides. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And we're all on the that. apple cider vinegar, everybody. Trust this is this is amazing. Oh, yeah, Whether I'll be able to drink this back home, really I don't know. Well, but it just makes you feel good. Okay, Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god. This is, I mean, I'm 68. These are young people, all young people. <laughs> Here comes Granny, everybody. Actually, so far, so good. I don't feel so bad. That was amazing. We did it, everyone. Oh. I just thought as we're at the dining room table and as you're looking at some of the, the images of the beautiful food that we're being served here at the Schloss, Sky, who is um, our cook, has produced her own cookbook. Um, it's called And More. It is stunning and I have a feeling you can order copies. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask her. If you can order copies, I'm going to leave the link below. But let me just show you. This is a book of vegetarian recipes, the like of which you will never have experienced before. This is what we are eating. Mini herb potato cakes. Thai basil aubergine bowl. I mean, she's amazing. Half the people have come here on this retreat for the yoga and the other half, if we're honest, for the food because she is extraordinary. Dayton Cinnamon Squares. All, the whole book has been produced by Sky. Um, look at this chili coffee bean stew. What? These are just... And I'm telling you, you will never miss the meat, I promise you. Sweet pepper tofu. The whole book has been produced by Sky. Um, oh, this is one of my favourites we've had here, which is cream spinach and roasty. She literally photographed and produced the whole thing herself. 
It's beautiful. I think they're limited editions, but I will leave the link below. I love Lima. Lima, waiting for her owner to get back. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. And whilst I don't have Myrtle with me, I have Lima. Yes. Oh, yes. And we're here together because the others have all gone to bogging. And Lima and I, Lima's sulking because her owner. Lima, where's Robin? Where's Robin? Oh, Robin's gone. Robin's gone with the girls up on the slopes, leaving Lima and I behind. I'm trying to cheer her up. She, she hates being separated. I've still got my slippers on. I just thought I'd have a little chat. I've got the schloss to myself. Truly, everybody is out on the slopes. And, um, and I've stayed behind. And the reason is my asthma is almost completely better. When I arrived, oh my gosh, I did not realize. Obviously, the cold air really affects asthma. So I arrived, we had a great time, and after the first morning, I was like, oh, gosh, what have I done? Um, and I really worried. And then the more yoga I did, the, um, the more I, my breathing improved completely. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually back to normal, but I was really scared the first morning because we went out and I didn't want to let everyone down. Everyone apart from Lou is half my, a third of my age, actually a third of my age. And they're whizzing off. And um, it's so interesting because I've only ever been on retreat with people roughly my age. Although the Mallorcan one, no, they were younger. There were some my age, but some were younger. Um, these are really fit, really fit young girls. And, um, you know, I like to think I kept up. I didn't go skiing because I can't ski, but I went cross skiing. Um, we went trekking up, right up the mountain and did some yoga on the lake. And that was great. Um, but today, the reason I stay behind, well, for two reasons. I had loads of work to do and um, that's collaborations. So I thought, you know, the collaborations I've agreed to do this month, I can film in Austria because the light is so brilliant. And as I've said to you before, my flat in London, I mean, listen to this, silence. I will never have that in London. Also, it's quite late in the afternoon. I've still got very, very good um, light coming through the windows reflection from the snow really so um i had to stay behind to do some work but also they are tobogganing and when i say tobogganing this isn't gently going down parliament hill in london this is where you go right up on a ski lift to where the skiers go and then you come down like that and you know you can crash you can overturn i did it before um when i first came here but that was three years ago and i am i do not want to risk breaking on my last day a limb i just you know this body has seen me good and i just thought no i do not want to be one of those people you see at the airport coming back with a plaster so um they're all doing it lou's doing it but lou's younger than me um and they'll have a great time but it meant i could hang around the schloss on my own film everything i wanted to film um and be with lima because i do miss myrtle but Lima is a flat-faced dog and um, their personalities are very, very similar. So yes, so um, it's been lovely actually, just being here in the quiet. They'll all be back soon. And then it's our last night. And our last night, we're having a cacao ceremony. I have literally no idea what that is, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, and then we all fly back tomorrow. So it's been like six days. And as I say, the very first morning, I just thought, what have I done? But I'm fine now. In fact, you know, I've been doing yoga twice a day, every day, it's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, we may film a bit of the cacao ceremony tonight. Shall we see how Lima is? Lima, Lima, how are you doing? Wow, wow. Um, 
I'm sorry I didn't finish the vlog in... Yeah. Bye! I'm sorry I didn't finish the vlog in Austria, but I was... I just forgot to end the vlog. So obviously I'm back at work. Here's Mel. Hi. That's Mel the producer. But look who's here! Welcome back! Thank you. Well, lovely to see you again. Hi, Mel. <laughs> it's so, we've missed you. We've I've, really missed you. I've missed you as well, I swear to God. There was a bit of a mess up last night because I got home and Linda the cabbie was calling me at half past, no, at about quarter to two. <laughs> I saw it was booked and I, and I, and I, and I, I, I grabbed it. And then you, you texted me so that you were driving and you Yeah, were... I drove myself. So I thought, oh, was... so, I, so I just, so I didn't, so I didn't, so I cancelled my thing. I thought it was still there. I thought, that's funny. So I know. So she rang you, of course. She rang me on my phone, another cabbie. Yeah. Bye, Mel. I thought someone at the door must have booked it for you. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she and I, got yeah, to... yeah, and I, I, I thought, well, I'm not going to be. It's such a mix up, everybody, with, with cabs. Oh my gosh. What a cot. It's almost colder here than in. Yeah, so it's um, I I came back with a tan, but it's faded so quickly. Well, we can't see your tan. No, well, I'm... under this light, I never see you in daylight. <laughs> Except for when I'm in Los Angeles, I sent you a video. Yeah, you did. You sent a video, um, and I put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I saw. Everyone is dying to know. Did you have a good time? Oh, I had a wonderful time. I've come back a different person. Have you? Oh, completely relaxed. Completely, all the stress went from my shoulders. I mean, I spent the whole, I was, I spent the whole month. I think I only left my flat maybe four times, five times the whole time I was there. I literally just drew the blackout curtains and just spent all day watching television, ordering Chinese food from Uber, Uber Eats. No. And all I did was I watched Real Housewives of Orange County, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. You said Real you were going Housewives to New York, Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, Below Deck. Oh, um, Captain Sandy was on my show. Captain yeah, Sandy. Yeah, yeah. She was. She, she was on. She, her, her, her wife was doing some show at the lyric. That's right. That's she, right. She was doing a show. At the she lyric, was doing yeah. a show, and her wife said, "If you haven't watched Below Deck, you won't know what we know." What I love is that Dave went all the way to LA <laughs> and he spent the whole time inside <laughs> watching. Te I would do the same. Watching television, ordering Chinese food <laughs> from Uber. Did you swim? No, <laughs> I just. Uh, I swam in Coca-Cola when I was watching the television. I, 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 occasionally I'd crack over the curtain and it'd be bright blue skies and really warm. And I'd think, oh no, I'll close the curtain and put the television back you on. You are funny. I heard the actor Bill Nye, um, I, I read once, he said, he, because he works as an actor all over the world, he goes into a hotel room, anywhere in the world, pulls the curtains, doesn't want to look at the view and just watches television. I love that. I absolutely love it. So um, relaxing. So relaxing. I'm going to now have a good old chat with Dave. So um, I'm going to turn this off. Sorry I didn't finish the um, the Austria trip. I didn't end the vlog, the part of the vlog there. It jumped immediately to London. Um, but I had a fantastic time. I'm going to leave the details of um, Skye's cookbook um, below because she's extraordinary and um, you can order the cookbook if you want to. This is not obviously an ad, but um, loads of people were asking about the food when we were there and the recipes. So I'll leave those. What else have I got to tell you? I don't know, I think that's it. If there's any walking women and walking men, um, we will discover after Dave and I have said please subscribe and goodbye. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye, see you next week. Isn't it nice to have him back? Bye, everyone. Bye. I'm walking near the knee.